Landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. And toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. Ouch. Well... That's a fine way to say good morning. I'd like to help you with breakfast, lad, but it's all part of your training. Honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Oh. Eh, two grommet. Eggs, toast, and honey. I can practically taste them already. <laughs> Silicon flowers, grommet. A major contribution to our modern lifestyle. Postman, bring us then. Any orders? Hand it over, lad. Did you find those dog tags I bought you, Grommy? Push me buttons, Gromit. You won't find me breakfast up there, Gromit. Walkies can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. The living room's out of bounds for now, Gromit. Had to use it for storage. 
only temporary, mind. We'll need those crates once the orders start pouring in. No breakfast foods down there, Gromit. But it's about that incident, Bishop. That blinking mechanical mouse of yours has put me in a right pickle. Happen it may be a sniffer 3000 with advanced cheese tracking capabilities, but it chewed through all me fancy tail and me red lister too. Now I know we've always been on good terms, but this morning I find myself not inconsiderably discombobulated. And I can't let it happen again, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say that with the deepest regret, and following police advice, you and your blinking contraptions are banned from my establishment until further notice. What number, please? Walkies can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Oh, well, oh no, final demand, I don't know, this payment due now, and a disconnection? Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then, I'll open one, but just the one? Hmm, seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put me pen? Ah, yes. That dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me.
where's that egg coming from it? Still no breakfast? I'm beginning to suspect foul play. Cracking eggs, Chuck. But I can't tuck in until I get my toast and honey. Honey? How sweet of you, Gromit. <laughs> but I don't see the toast yet. Done to a turn. My compliments to the chef. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit, I've a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Wallace, may I have a word? Um, uh, if it's about yesterday's, uh, um, little mishap. Oh no, you see? I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penner, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know. Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are, how can I put this, a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Aye, well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from B to you. <laughs> ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having my annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt, and it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... I say yes! We're in business, lad! Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to U has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? Never mind, lad. I'll do it. Nothing like an inspirational poster to boost worker productivity. For some reason, my boys aren't terribly fond of this one. Flowers, the perfect meal for a hungry hive. The remote control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Look! 
look alive in there. Ah. The magnetronic pollinator is the linchpin of the operation. My workers get their rations mechanically. No foraging in flower beds for them. Uh, bon appetit. Not exactly a flood, is it? Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. My workers think the world of their monarch. Oh, see what I mean? could use a good spring cleaning. Where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? Awfully long drop. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. Doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flit? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, 
Right ho. No flowers in here. happened to his little cricket bat. No good. The Sniffer 3000 must be out of range. That's a healthy looking, uh, what do you call it? Foxglove. If you want to grow them, you've got to know them. Such a fragrant bouquet. <coughs> that flower hasn't bloomed yet. I know it hasn't, the lazy thing. Oh, but the way will be worth it. Oh? This flower will be the piece de resistance of my purple paradise. And the scent, absolutely heavenly. I'm simply mad about the purple pansy. An important message from Rex Armstrong, bodybuilder extraordinaire. I'd better hang on to it if it's so important. and a little look, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. Ugh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, Perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Groating, Energize, Strongium. Well, I need a miracle and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who will see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Cut! 
still. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crum. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon? Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your nearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that, but Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know, I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying wolf. This time, I've got proof. Jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Wallace. Loaded in France during the war. Never wrong yet. Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to a snail. You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Ha! This case is packed full of government-issue protein bars. Protein? Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Mr. Wallace! Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Mr. Gabberly! Gone away! Went to Timbuktu! Won't be back until spring! Wallace, love, how's business? Something to cogitate on. Well, if it isn't Wallace, I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Miss Sniffer 3000, banged up like a common criminal. Oh, breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine, just a bit over keen. 
It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me, yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Grow Muscle Formula. I used my last Energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. Constable Dibbins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? Oh, no. Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that so? I... I... I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thingamabee, what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Gibbons. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Cheeky blighter. We've had our little chat. And? I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. It's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. That looks like... Can it really be... Cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Fensley Dale, your favourite. And... Am I to take it that these are... Yes. Three samples. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. My poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. The Sniffer 3000 wasn't cut out. Oops! Missed!
the sniffer's just trying to get to the cheese. But the machine sounds like it's crying. Oh, almost brings a tear to my eye just watching. Can you see fit to grant my appeal, Constable Dibbins? Not on your Nelly. That heap of nuts and bolts is now but trouble. Couldn't give me a single straight answer when I tried to interrogate it. It only responds to certain commands. I know, I programmed it. Perhaps you could try a gentler approach? Well, I'll have another chat with it. More friendly like. Oh, yes. Much obliged, Constable Dibbins. I ain't promising nothing, mind. Time we had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't know why I bother. I'm too soft, me. No change, I'm afraid. And its moral compass seems to be badly malfunctioning. Last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Business. The Sniffer 3000 wasn't... I already did that. I already did. The Sniffer 3000 was... The Sniffer... to get my Sniffer 3000 out of jail and my Energites out of the Sniffer. So, 
Wallace in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. It'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Have you brought it, Mr. Fellas? I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're banned from my store, Wallace. But Due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. I'm ever so sorry, Chuck. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Well, did you do as I asked? Have you delivered the message? Have you shown them the snail? I'm not sure the snail will convince them, Major Crumb. If she doesn't, the air raid siren will. But by then, it may be too late. Come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. As a bee to a blossom, eh? <laughs> 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 